Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, today again, walking and talking on the beach here in Phuket. Beautiful morning again, the sun starts to shine. And we are going to talk, of course, about four amazing Bitcoin charts, some trading tip, some travel tip, a little bit live advice. Of course, also about the news because something is happening in Thailand that is really positive for crypto. Yes, all in all, a very nice, cool video with a lot of tips. So watch it till the end and start now by giving it already a thumbs up, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today. The first chart for today, guys, the beautiful four hour chart here on Bitcoin Bybit. I told you yesterday's video, there will be a supply shock coming very soon. This could be the start of the supply shock, as I will show you a couple of charts in a minute that are definitely contributing to that supply shock, guys. But this first chart, four hour, look at beautiful buy signal. A candle was already above the yellow stepping line. Let me see how the rest of the chart was here in this part. The blue line was above the white line. The white line was curling up, also very beautiful. In the bottom, there was a lot of green. Look, that green line was on top, green, orange, red, the perfect combination. That was a perfect start of a long over here, guys. And that long, of course, is the shit of the profit. At the moment, we are with Bitcoin already at 44,000. 500 US dollar. We even went to 44, 600 dollar. If we can close a daily around these levels of 44,600 US dollar, guys, then that is a very bullish thing for Bitcoin, and that will take us to 46 to 49,000 US dollar again. After that, guys, uh, we can also see that the Bollinger Band was again compressing before this huge pump happened. So yes, that's always an indication when that Bollinger Band compresses. Be aware there will be a breakout to the top or to the bottom. This time, beautifully, to the top, like I have been telling you already now for weeks, we will see a higher price again before we will see 38K or whatever prices people are expecting. Now let's zoom out and look at these other charts I was just referring to. This is the first one. This is the Bitcoin on minor net flow total, all miners. We can see that at the moment there is a huge outflow from the Bitcoin miners. Bitcoin miners are selling their Bitcoins probably to all those spot ETF companies now because we have never experienced such big outflows just before the halving. Bitcoin miners normally have these outflows after the halving. So it's very interesting to see now that there is this amount of huge outflows of all of these miners guys. This is all outflows from their reserve stack. So this is not like outflows of what they are mining daily because that's only 900 Bitcoins combined. But this is all the outflows of their reserve stack. So they are eating up their reserves at the moment already, which at the end will create a lack of supply when it comes to the demand for Bitcoin. And that's exactly what you see on this chart, the Bitcoin miner reserve. All miners have a smaller reserve than they had before. So you can see the Bitcoin price in US dollars, this is black line, and you can see that purple line, which is the miner reserve. This has been decreasing. There's less and less and less miner reserves, which means the Bitcoin miners hold less and less Bitcoin, which means they can't put the market down anymore at the moment by dumping because they're all being bought up by the spot EDS. So there is not enough supply anymore for the demand that is continuously growing and it will grow even more towards the halving and all the hype in the news and everything about Bitcoin. At that moment, the miners will only be able to dump less Bitcoins to the market because from the halving on, there will be 50% less Bitcoin mined every day collectively. So that means if these miners are eating up all the reserves now and the halving will come and they will be mining less Bitcoins every day and they don't have reserves anymore, that they can't hold that price down anymore by dumping the Bitcoins because they don't have Bitcoins in their reserves anymore. So the only thing they can do at that moment is sell the Bitcoins that they are mining daily new. And that will be about 450 Bitcoins every day, collectively, worldwide, by all the miners. 400 Bitcoins a day. The demand at the moment is thousands of Bitcoins a day. That is why I was yesterday referring to that supply shock. This will lead to a massive supply shock because there is not enough supply very soon. The miners are dumping their reserves. They are not mining as much as Bitcoins anymore 
after the halving that they were used to mine before the halving and the demand is continuously growing, growing, growing. It's one and one is two. This is going to lead to a supply shock and it will lead to a huge increase of the Bitcoin price. Please be aware of this. And at that moment, guys, we will see on this chart that 100% of the Bitcoins will be in profit. At the moment, 90% of the Bitcoins are in profit. But when we get to the 100% of the Bitcoins in profit, the dots will turn red. And when those dots turn red, look on this chart to the left, what happened in the past. When the first red dot appeared, we got a shitload of more red dots and they were all higher than the previous one and they all led to a new massive bull market top. This is all going to happen after that halving in April 2024, guys. When we reach the price of 69k, 100% of the Bitcoins will be in profit. It's just 10% of the market of the Bitcoins that was bought around that 69k level that are now in loss. When we reach a new all-time high, 100% will be in profit, massive bull market because of the supply shock and the combination of all those people being in profit is going to go and propel Bitcoin above 100k. And there's also, of course, on this rainbow chart, what you can see, we are still in this greenish area, which is still a sale area, a pre-sale where you can still buy Bitcoin pretty cheap. The moment we go into the yellow, orange and red area, that is the moment when you should be taking your profits, guys. Simple rainbow chart halving you can see we are nearing that i still believe 50k around the halving and then from there we will take it up higher higher and higher i hope you really enjoyed the charts guys yes every time it's the same thing we need to zoom out when it comes to bitcoin the short-term volatility doesn't really matter it's way more important that you zoom out and look at the bigger picture because that bigger picture is telling us a very beautiful future for bitcoin there will be a supply shock we will go into that halving there will be a massive bull market after April 2024 and yes your capital that you're investing now will be in a shitload of profits because of that it's simple as that but I hope you enjoyed the charts uh, let's quickly jump now into the trading tip the trading tip for today guys is again answering one of the questions of one of the followers because it was a really cool question that I can use for this trading tip because the question was Didi uh, a next question about the USDT that I'm going to buy with my Bitcoin at the bull market top. So exchanging Bitcoin, of course, for USDT. He's like, why are you not using gold? And my answer to that is, yes, of course, a part of my portfolio is also going into gold. I've been talking about this already now for months. There is this beautiful company in Singapore, Billion Star is called, where you can buy gold with Bitcoin. So I don't even need to exchange my Bitcoins first to USDT. I can directly buy that gold with my Bitcoin at the bull market top. Uh, it's a Singaporean company. They prove that your gold is also really owned by you. You can even see pictures and everything of that gold in the storage over there. You can even visit it and just do a check and check them up. Hey, do you really have my gold over here? Gold bars, gold coin, whatever you want to buy. And they will show you your locker with your gold, guys. So that's a really cool option, of course to exchange your Bitcoins into gold because that could be a little bit better than to into USDT or any other fiat currencies which are like inflationary guys. And gold is a little bit less inflationary, a little bit more deflationary. So it is a very good option to opt out in at the bull market top. So also here again, when you exit that bull market top, you just uh, take that same strategy. You diversify your portfolio. So a part you diversify into US dollar stable coins or in a Euro pack stable coins. A part you will diversify into gold through buying gold with Bitcoin. If you want to buy gold with Bitcoin, by the way, the link is down below this video. Click the link. You don't need to buy directly, but if you click that link and sign up, I think you get like $7 or silver for free or something. If you use the link down below, so my link will give you $7 worth of silver for free. Now, um, just by signing up. Uh, and a part of your portfolio will diversify maybe into real estate, whatever. I don't know how many Bitcoins you own, but maybe it is a good step for you um, to diversify a little bit into real estate or gold or any other asset that you believe that holds more value than fiat currencies. So that was the answer on the question and also the trading tip. It is possible at the bull market up. Of course, it is also possible today to exchange your Bitcoins directly for gold or to buy gold with Bitcoin. By the way, you can always change back from gold to Bitcoin, of course. Pretty cool setup. Check the link down below and check that company. 
The travel tip for today is a very beautiful website I found yesterday. Casa crypto.es it's a website that is focused on spanish real estate but over 6,000 villas can be bought there directly with bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies casa crypto.es and that is also directly the answer of all those questions that i get asked every time can you buy a house with bitcoin yes you can in certain countries it's very simple in other countries they just don't know how yet but if you look at that website, casacrypto.es, and I'm not being paid to shill it, I'm just very enthusiastic that that's possible, you will see which steps they are taking for you to be able to buy a house, a villa, an apartment with Bitcoin. So that is then the travel tip for today. If you go to Spain, visit their head office and check which villas you can directly buy with Bitcoin. Of course, you need to do a little bit of proof where the Bitcoins came from, etc., and how you made profit. But I think at the end of this bull market, it's very easy to show them, hey, I bought three, four Bitcoins and they went up times four. So yes, I can buy that villa now with crypto. Now, check the website, castlecrypto.es. That was the travel tip for today. Now, let's jump into the next part. Bam. question of one of the followers guys i couldn't find a real good question in the last two videos but there was one remark below yesterday's video that said yeah you are always talking about your trading bot but that's way too expensive for many people out there and um, it is not expensive you don't need to pay it at all you pay it with your profits so as long as we don't make profits with that bot you're not paying at all so you only pay when you make profits. Yes, you need to have a certain amount on your trading account. I think at the moment it's 5,000 US dollar. Um, I think they are even want to lower it, uh, that amount. But if you have that amount in your trading account, there's no extra payment needed. When you make profit, trade with sequence takes a percentage of your profit. So you're paying the fees from your profits. If you don't make profits, you are not paying any fees. Simple as that. So that's the answer to that question, which not really was the question, it was more like a remark to what I said yesterday. But yes, the bot is for everyone. Everyone can use it. There is no access fee. The only thing you need to pay is a commission on the profits that you're making. If you want to get access to that bot, guys, then go to the website, thebitcoinfamily.com. In the products menu, you will see a spot bot or derivatives bot of the Bitcoin family and then just click that link and you can read all the information. You don't even need to sign up directly. You can just read the information, watch the video that I made about it. And then you can always decide, hey, I'm going to do and put a part of my capital in this bot, automated trading or not. It's just another tool to multiply your Bitcoins while you're sleeping, walking the beach or doing something else because you don't have time to trade yourself. Nothing else. It's not our product as the Bitcoin family. The product is made by Trade with Sequence, a company that creates these kinds of algorithms. And because I really love what they built and the results that they have shown me in my own account, that's why I started sharing it now with the community and the Bitcoin family members, because I want it to be possible for all of you to make a bit of extra Bitcoin, bit by bit, just by doing nothing, sleeping or whatever fun stuff you might be doing with your wife. Yes, your Bitcoins are being multiplied by that ball. Now, let's jump into the next part. The news for today, guys, is from Thailand. Thailand is dropping taxes on cryptocurrency trading profits. So if you're a Thai person trading on an exchange, you don't need to pay the 7% taxes anymore on your profits. That is a huge step for the adoption of cryptocurrency in Thailand. Thailand is really reaching out to become this beautiful crypto hub for all people of the world. But I couldn't find anything in that law or in the proposal that was stating that we as foreigners that are making crypto profits also don't need to be taxed. Because at the moment there was a proposal, I think even a law since the 1st of January, that if you stay more than 180 days in Thailand, that you need to pay taxes on your income that you make outside of Thailand and it also includes cryptocurrency so these two laws are a little bit uh, to the opposite of each other so I don't know exactly what it means for me as a Dutch person spending for example 185 days in Thailand do I need to pay taxes now on my cryptocurrency or not I'm going to investigate this a little bit more but at least for all the Thai people they don't need to pay tax anymore on their cryptocurrency profits Really big step for Thailand. Uh, while they are doing a beautiful photo shoot over there, guys, check. On the in the beach there, you can see a horse in the water. 
and they are doing a photo shoot beautifully here in the water. Yes, Bitcoin, beach, babes, boobs, and yes, booty. Now, let's quickly jump into the next part, guys. The last part of the video, guys, is of course the inspirational life quote part. Uh, today's quote is, I rather regret the things I have done than regret the things I haven't done. It's very important in life to do all the things that you want to do. Don't let anything or anyone stop you from doing all those things because you will be regretting that you haven't done them. As long you are between 20 and like 60 years old, you're very fit, your body is equipped to do all those things that you love to do, that you're dreaming to do, that you are willing to do. If it is jumping out of a plane, if it's hiking the Kilimanjaro, if it's petting lions in the free wild Africa, if whatever it is that you want to do, dive with sharks, make photos on a white horse in Phuket on the beach, whatever it is that you want to do or that you dream of doing, do it. Because then you can never regret you haven't done it. It's way better to regret that you did do it. Maybe you do some stupid stuff. Maybe the shark bites off your arm. But at least you then did it, guys. You know, you will never regret that you didn't do it. It's better to regret what you have done than regret what you haven't done. So start to make life one big adventure of cool activities that you have dreamt of doing all your life already. Start to do those things while it's still possible, while you're still healthy, while you're still equipped, while your body is still fit to do all the stuff that you want to do. It is very important that you focus in this period of life between 20 and like 50 years old, for example, that you focus on those beautiful things in life that you want to do. Do them now. Don't like postpone them till you're 65 or 70 or that you have like your pension fund and all that shit. Maybe there won't be a pension. Maybe you won't even reach 65. You need to do them now so you will never regret that you haven't done them. It's better to regret the things that you did do. Now, that was the quote for today. It's better to regret the things you do instead of the things that you haven't done. Now, the end of the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about the charts, about everything else in the video. And yes, please share it. I want to reach 75K subs as soon as possible and 100K before Bitcoin reaches 100K, guys. The competition is on. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day. I see you tomorrow again then.